Hello everybody, this is Crossbow Vanguards, I'm the captain here, and what happened? Before we get to any of the, the news for this what happened, I'm just gonna do a tiny little what happened to uh, to explain a few things to, to a couple of guys. Last week, a few of the rearguards from the Discord server came down to Doodle's Point to, to hang out with myself and Brian over there. So, big shout out to Alicia88, Potato, and Shadow Cosmic for coming down and participating in the shops events and hanging out with us. On the same day, I got Shadow Cosmic and Brian to join me in a What Happened video to talk about uh, one of the news that I'll be addressing later on. Unfortunately, with me falling sick for the past uh, few days and um, the video wasn't being up at the at the time that I wanted it to be. Uh, so I decided uh, I'm just gonna redo that what happened right now here with this video. So uh, I send my apologies to Shadow Cosmic. I really do appreciate and I really do regret that, that um, you know, I couldn't use the footage that, that we recorded that day. But if I find a sample, you guys are seeing it right now. Hi everybody, this is Crossbow Vanguards. I'm the captain here, I got Brian. Hi. And we got a special guest here. This is Shadow Cosmic. This is one of the rear guards. Hi. And this is one of you, uh, this is uh... <laughs> <laughs> and that's about it. So, on to the stuff that actually happened. Recently, Brochure had a press release at the Gamma Trade Show 2017, which is located in Las Vegas. And so they've announced a few news, uh, they've unveiled a few things uh, over there. So Car 5 Vanguard is celebrating its fifth year uh, in the English format and to celebrate they are having a special pack campaign for the release of GBT-10, uh, Raging Clash of the Blade Fangs. Yes, that's the name. So the special packs they'll be releasing in that campaign is actually the uh, Critical 4 packs, uh, which is uh, something that Japanese players are quite familiar with. So now it's the English uh, format side to get them right now and subsequently they probably will get the heal, stand and draw trigger for packs as well. They've also released information about their next season of uh, Fujika Cup Body Fight uh, which is known as Fujika Cup Body Fight X uh, and it'll be released on their YouTube channel um, for sub uh, it'll be released on April 1st and for English dub they'll be releasing on April 15th. The reason why I bring up Buddy Fight is that just like with Yu-Gi-Oh, we are planning to um, do some Buddy Fight content here on this channel. So you can expect us to bring our style and our shenanigans over to those two games so that we can, um, you know, just kind of like have fun with them as well. Um, but of course, like, our primary focus here at Crossbow Vanguards will be Vanguard since we are Crossbow Vanguards. It's kind of telling. So the uh, releases won't be as frequent as our Vanguard stuff. There was also news about White Swatch and their upcoming releases, but we won't get into that. Details about the Bushiro World Championship Series uh, 2017 has also been dropped as well, but it's information that we do not already know. And they've also announced the uh, Vanguard and Buddy Fight uh, Grand Festival 2017, which is actually the new name for their. Um, I have to look at my notes here for this. For their Vanguard and Buddy Fight Ultra Big Card Fest, or your Vanga, or your Vanga Sai, or Buddy Sai, uh, if you are familiar with those two terms. And the Grand Festival is actually going to be uh, traveling outside of Japan, and it will debut in California, USA. No date has been announced yet, but it is looking like it might happen around June or July. Because attendees at the event will be able to get their hands uh, much earlier than the retail uh, releases. They'll be able to get their hands on the new Bermuda Triangle trial deck, the new Bermuda Triangle um, clan booster, as well as the um, for Buddyfy X, they also will be able to get the second uh, booster packs uh, that we're releasing for Buddyfy X over there. And there will be card game tournaments, special guests, uh, promotional items and uh, special merchandise, exclusive merchandise they'll be able to get over there. And um, tickets for the event will be uh, available online and at stores uh, on March 21st. Now, one last uh, bit of information that they released was uh, for a little thing that they've called Project DB. It's what we have known so far, but uh, as after this press release, we now know that Project DB is now known as a, a game called uh, Dragonborn Rise of Supremacy. I feel a thoom coming. <laughs> Essentially, Dragonborn is a strategic trading card game with unique game mechanics and that also involves the use of dice in their gameplay. It's a two-player game whereby each player assumes the role of a Dragonborn. I feel that thoom coming again. <laughs> Dragonborn's granted with power from one of five reigning Drago Lords uh, who bears their nation's allegiances and vie with other Drago Lords for honor and glory. Now I'm starting to hear precision German engineering. 
Each player will control three forts that represents their life total, and the aim of the game is to destroy your opponent's forts. Duh! By summoning fearsome creatures and cast powerful spells to aid their cause. Also duh. As mentioned, die value will also play a significant part in Dragonborn. And I am literally reading this off the information that I got, which I'm gonna quote right here. My 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 my, <laughs> my notes are here. Um, making the skillful manipulation and use of dice a key component of gameplay. Which if you ask me, is an articulate way of saying use your dice cheating skills. <laughs> So that's all the information that uh, we've been given so far about um, Dragonborn Rise to Supremacy. Uh, the game is going to be released in English only and uh, it is said that every aspect of the game from the art to the mechanics uh, will be a huge uh, step, uh, a huge departure actually, a huge departure from uh, how uh, Bushiro games are known to be designed around. Uh, so um, it is said to be released on August 4th and if we do manage to get the game, we'll definitely be able to demo it for you. Demo it for you here at Cosmo Mangas. Now with all that out of the way, let's go to the more recent what happenings. What happenings? What the f Alfred Soul Saver. What the f The new skill for Alfred Soul Saver was released a few hours ago as of when this video is uploaded. And I know that I said last time that I hope Blasters would change the meta with the Aichi Legend deck. But not like this. Alfred's Soul Saver skill is that uh, if you have an uh, Alfred or Blaster Heart, then you get to choose uh, one of your rear guards with uh, name Blaster Blade, and uh, you can give it plus 3,000 power and the skill uh, during the first uh, bat during the first time that this unit attacked, you may perform Twin Drive. This is not how I wanna die in Vanguard. Be because reasons and it's these reasons that I'm gonna ball them up and I'm actually gonna save them for a future video but that's not the only news that released um, there have also been news about the upcoming Nobatama trial deck they have said that uh, there will be hot stamp cards uh, in this trial deck uh, maybe along the lines of the um, the True Zodiac Time Beast uh, trial deck for Gear Chronicle that they released uh, last year or early this year depending on your format and this trial deck set will also include G Guardians for the first time in trial decks. Uh, and maybe they'll also release it for future uh, trial deck sets as well. So you might expect some in the Bruno Triangle as one later on. But the prices uh, for uh, the trial decks will go up by about 200 yen. So uh, do expect uh, these trial decks to actually come a little bit more expensive because of the inclusion of the G Guardians. Nubatama is getting a new keyword uh, called Shinhai. Uh, which roughly translates to control or dominate. We don't know what's the English uh, equivalent is going to be, what's going to be called in English. Uh, nor do we know what the skill is for this keyword. And lastly, a bit of sad news here for Crossbow Vanguards. There will be no more um, starter sets uh, released uh, in companion with the trial decks uh, anymore. Uh, the decks, uh, the deck holders and the sleeves are actually going to be sold separately right now. So uh, in our overview videos, you're actually not going to be able to see uh, the, the nice presentable box that you keep seeing us open uh, every uh, overview video that we've done for the previous trial decks. Moving on, there has been a uh, news release for uh, GBT-11 as well. Uh, the release date has been uh, confirmed to be um, 9th of June for Japanese. And uh, for, in for English, it's actually coming out uh, in August. Uh, we still don't know, know what date it will release in August yet. First off, to recap, um, the clans that this uh, box will be boosting will be Royal Paladin, Gear Chronicle, um, Kagero, Genesis, Nobatama, uh, and Dark Irregulars as well as Creator Mental of course. And through the main uh, poster that they that you guys are probably seeing right now, uh, there are some full arts for some of the units that you see there which includes uh, the new Genesis unit that uh, Verno is going to use. Verno is the female um, team member of uh, Team Diff Riders, uh, part of uh, Kazumi Onimaru. Onimaru Kazumi. Around there. There's also a uh, Blade Master over there. Shahalet. Gunslot and Mystery Flare. Mystery Flare, guys. Don't believe me, just why? Hey, 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 oh! Oh! On top of all of that, 
uh, GPT-11 will now have uh, 7 cards in each pack instead of the usual 5. So I think going forward with the other BTs, they also might be following the same format. Uh, because they are looking to adjust the, the, um, the rarity ratio. Uh, so there will be more uh, double R's and above printed uh, for um, GPT-11. Uh, which means we might be getting more uh, boosts for uh, each of the clans uh, that's coming out in this set. There will also be um, 5 SP character packs released in there, uh, which is um, Onimaru Kazumi for Nobatama, Verno for Genesis, uh, Saori for Kagero, Saori is the small boy, he actually plays Kagero, not Blade Master because uh, we've seen something else. Um, Enishi Satoru for Dark Irregulars and Sendo Aichi for Royal Paladin. Uh, here we go again. And that is all that happened, so I am certainly not looking forward to April. Uh, but just the same, we will bring you these uh, overviews and unboxings uh, when these sets all come out here at Cosmo Vanguards. And um, do also look forward to the stuff uh, coming out pretty soon from us uh, for Yu Gi Oh! and for Buddy Fight as well, because. Uh, we are really excited to get started in two new games as well and we just want to have more very content uh, to, to showcase uh, here on Cosmo Vanguards and all the other stuff. So if you want to see all of that, do consider subscribing to us here at Cosmo Vanguards uh, for all those shenanigans and do ring the bell so you can actually um, keep up to date with, uh, well keep notified actually when we release a video both regular and impromptu. At the same time, also do follow us on all of our socials. We're on Facebook, Cross of Vegas. We're on Twitter, Cross of VGS. We have a blog, Cross of Vegas uh, We also have a Discord server where you can hang out with us, myself, Dempster, Leon, a few of the, the other members of Cross of Vegas, and of course the rear guards as well. Uh, say hi to Alicia88, to uh, Shadow Cosmic, Potato, uh, Shizaku-san even as well. Say hi to every single one of them over there and uh, have a great time and also be sure to check us out on Patreon as well uh, if you like what you see here on uh, Cosmo Vanguards and you'd like to uh, support the show directly do consider supporting us over there at Patreon to do so and with all of that said thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video bye now where did I keep that shelf?